everybody I'm back again and I'm really really sorry if you can hear the just a moment I'm trying to adjust this for a minute here okay I'm really sorry if you can hear any kind of buzzing outside of my window there's construction going on right now but I just came back from shopping and taking care of a few errands so I got another product review for you so yay this time it's not going to be on Shea Moisture, it's going to be on Lush, okay? Since I haven't tried Lush for a long time right now. And this is what I'm going to be reviewing. I'm really sorry about the label, but this is the It's Raining Men's Shower Gel. I ended up picking this up a very long time ago. I'll get to that in a moment. But it's available. this product is available at Lush and it's 8.4 fluid ounces. Lush has three sizes, 3.3 fluid ounce, the 8.4 fluid ounce, which is what I have, and a much bigger fluid ounce. I forgot the amount of ounces. I'll probably put it in the description, but this stuff could be found at Lush for about, if you want this size, it is $19.95 plus tax. Crazy, I know. The other one, the smaller one, which is like the travel size, it is... $8.95 and I believe the biggest size that they have is either $24.95 or $29.95. I'll put the prices in the description you can check it out there. But anyway, I picked up this a very long time ago and I've never gotten the chance to really use it as much because I was so busy with the other two body washes which were the African Black Soap Body Wash and the Raw Shea Butter Body Wash. So when I got done with these, I decided to get to this, and I tested this out a few times here, here, and um, to explain the label here, the only reason that the label started peeling was because it's really flimsy, and if you add some water to it, the, the labeling will just melt off. So on the back, there's actually supposed to be an ingredient list, and then it's supposed to give you a sticker of who made it, when it was made, and when it will expire. So. Here's what it looks like. It's a pretty thick yellow gel. Gel-like consistency here. And I'm nearly down to probably two-thirds to a half of it because I've used it for a while. So to put this quite simply, it's a pretty this stuff is a pretty decent body wash. I do remember trying the Prince Charming body wash. I did really want to try the Yummy Mummy body wash, but nah didn't get the chance to but I did try Prince Charming before and if you missed that review you can check it out check it out under my playlist product reviews but I did try Prince Charming and it was good so I decided to give this a shot, a shot since it has honey in it and I am a big fan of honey if, if most of you don't know so all in all I can pretty much say that this is a pretty good body wash but I expected a lot more from this here's why because I saw that it had honey in it and tiger lily tiger lily flower in it and pretty much all these good ingredients that unfortunately I cannot read to you because again the label is messed up but because it had honey in it I expected this stuff to be very moisturizing and according to the reviews that I read on the lush website and on other websites People said that this stuff was pretty good, and they've even used it for their hair, which I haven't done yet because, well, if you read my blousy review from Lush, from Lush, well, you can kind of understand why I say I don't really want to use anything from their company on my hair. But, <clears throat> pretty much because the only reason I bought this was due to the fact that it had honey in it, and I expected it to be very moisturizing. This stuff cleans pretty well. I mean, it gets me very clean like any other body wash would, but it doesn't really moisturize. And it's probably because it has sodium large sulfate in it, which, if you know, it's a sulfate. So this thing isn't really sulfate free. And surprisingly, I didn't notice that until I kept lathering up, lathering up a few times and I kind of expected it to moisturize since it had honey in it which I've said so many times now but this stuff did not really moisturize my hair skin excuse me I didn't use it on my hair but this stuff did not really moisturize my skin as well sure it got me clean I mean that's what's expected 
but in terms of moisturizing my skin it didn't really do that in fact it just made my skin dry it made it really really dry to where I would have to pile on the lotion and I don't really like that I don't really really like that when a body wash kind of dries out my skin because I already have severely dry skin so I use very moisturizing body washes and body lotion even though I know that the African black soap body wash isn't really that moisturizing but you get my idea the thing is the smell I don't really like the smell I half expected this to kind of smell like a mixture of sweet wildflower honey with the smell of fragrant flowers if you catch my drift I can't really describe the smell of this it's just that it's a smell that I can't put into words I can't really describe it therefore and the more that I just keep sniffing this the more that I don't really like it it just smells weird to me so I'm sorry but I can't really describe the smell but back on the cleaning factor it lathers up very well it lathers up even better if you use a shower proof like I do and a little goes a long way which is why I'm only down to like two-thirds to a half of it left but you know me I can be very heavy-handed so you get my idea but a little goes a long way long way you don't really need a lot of it to get a nice lather sorry about that construction but you really don't need a lot of it to get a nice lather but it just didn't it didn't moisturize my skin sure it got me clean but it just didn't really moisturize and that's what I'm really disappointed on and I really wanted this to moisturize my skin but it fell short it really just fell kind of short which is sort of disappointing since I'm a big fan of honey and usually when I see it in a product I think moisture so all in all I wouldn't really purchase this again because well it's too expensive no way am I gonna shelf out like 20 to 22 bucks for a small bottle like this and on top of that I expected it to kind of perform better but then again maybe I was overestimating this stuff in the first place which is why it kind of disappointed me either way I won't be able to I won't be purchasing this again I want to try I want to go back to what I know best which is Shea Moisture and whatnot because I really really love their body washes but in terms of this well in terms of how many stars out of five I give it a three uh, it's it gets you clean if you're looking to just get clean and not worry about moisture then maybe this body wash is for you just understand it's very expensive but if you're looking for a body wash that not only gets you clean and moisturizes your skin this might not be it now I understand everybody's skin is different and more than happily if you've tried this before and it works for you then bonus points to you but it just didn't really work for me and I can't see myself purchasing this stuff again so I'm gonna finish the bottle but it's going in the recycling bin after I'm done with it so that's pretty much my review on this product here if you've tried if you tried the body wash before if you tried this stuff before let me know how it worked for you in the comments below I'd love to read your story read your story and if you have any questions about lush products in general or this particular product just hit me up in the comments below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability I will be doing another review this week I'm gonna try and release um, two reviews this week and then I'm gonna go back to releasing another review once a week depending on my schedule right now I'm really 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 busy and I'm trying to get things in order so just kind of be patient and I will get the videos out as soon as I can as of now Wow, construction stopped. Okay. Well, as of now, I have to go do something since I just came back from running some errands and, of course, doing some shopping. And I'm a bit tired after I do whatever I have to do. So I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to leave a like if you like this review, okay? So, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, alright? See you soon.